Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to No Boring Days. One of the fun things about uh, the cycling community is everybody has their own dream build, their own gravel bike dreams. So we have a Facebook group called the Gravel Bike Cebu Facebook group. And I posted the question there a few weeks ago. I just asked everybody, what is your dream gravel bike? And we got so many comments on the thread. So I didn't know what to choose. I didn't know who to feature in terms of dream gravel bikes. So I decided to pick the ones who went into detail on what they wanted. So onto the first dream gravel bike, this is Gerald Wesley Lim, a surly straggler with 4630 chainring, 1142 cassette, salsa cow chipper handlebars, Crank Brothers Zinc 3 wheel set, or the Fulcrum Racing DB if budget allows, and of course, the Brooks Cambium C15 saddle. Let's take a look at some of his choices. So this is the Surly Straggler. The Surly Straggler to me is something that I like personally in terms of aesthetics. You have the flat top tube, drop bars, you have thick tires, you have clearance for 650B by 41mm or 700C by 41mm with fender so it could even get bigger. I am curious about his choice of drop bar, the Salsa Cow Chipper Handlebar. It's like a traditional road bar, but it has a 24 degree flare on the drops. So, generally speaking, when you look at a lot of these gravel bars, the drops have flares. Um, I, I know that my gravel bars have a flare, but I don't think it's, it's that much of a flare. And here's the wheel set that he's looking at, a Zinc 3 gravel wheel set, aluminum wheels. I think it's pretty affordable for nice aluminum wheels. That is one of the things that I'd like to do moving forward is that it would be cool to have like legitimately good wheels. How different is legitimately good wheels compared to the stock wheels that come on our bikes or a cheap wheel set that you can buy. I haven't had the opportunity to look at all the different wheels. It would be cool to try a nice wheel set. And here's the Fulcrum Racing Zero DB. Ceramic bearings. Yeah, it's an aluminum wheel set. So something like this. Like I wonder what the difference is between a Fulcrum Racing 0DB and the Zinc 3 gravel wheel set of Crank Brothers. Like there's a sizable price difference. This is $779 compared to 950 euros. Maybe that'd be $1,100. I'm not sure exactly. And of course, this is also one of the saddles that I would like to have in the future. A Brooks C15 or I wonder what what model is the one with the the rubber Brooks saddle with a cut in the middle that's what I'm looking at but uh, I would really man these saddles look really nice I know they weigh a little bit more than usual but man they look super good this is a second dream gravel bike this is from Jude Rude Bart Jude is also a friend of mine. I've ridden with him before. Unfortunately, he has not come out on the vlog. Bye, we gotta ride, Jude. Bye, come on, let's ride, man. Anyway, his dream gravel bike would be a crust lightning bolt with Rene Hurst crank set, ultra dynamical rubber, he means tires. Jude has good taste. Let's look at this crust lightning bolt. It's a randonneur frame. It has max tire clearance of 650 by 48C. And like, there is just something about the crust frames. They have this classic look on them. And then, oh yeah, look at that. Look at these Rene Hurst crank sets. Man, they look so classic. I think they would look really good on a crust lightning bolt. It would be so cool to have a gravel bike with a classic look something like with lugs 
maybe silver components, big tires. Yeah, speaking of tires, check out these ultra dynamical tires. I actually really like the rose from the ultra Dy dynamical. It's like a it's it's a tire with with attitude, you know. They're just so expensive. Like, can you imagine bringing them bringing them over here to the Philippines? It'll be like almost like 5,000 pesos a pair. I think they sell these in built cycles and they look really nice. I, I, I remember watching an interview where they interviewed Ultra Romance and the other guy who's part of Ultra Dynamico and they did say that they have a 700C tire on the way. So that's, that's exciting. It's probably gonna cost 5,000 pesos per tire though. So it's, uh, money, money. Yeah, here. So check out, this is probably what it would look like. Isn't that cool? Rene Hurstcrank set, ultra dynamical tires, crust lightning bolt. Ah, that would be cool to have that bike. Moving on, the next dream gravel bike. This too would be a dream gravel bike for me. Shout out to Edward Newgate, Jorge. Jorge and DJ Alcantara for commenting on the thread. They all said Ave Maldea. Maybe a custom Ave Maldea gravel bike. And I too would like to have an Ave Maldea gravel bike. One of these days when we can go back to Manila and have the full Ave Maldea experience. To me, the full Ave Maldea experience is you visit their shop, you talk to him about what kind of bike you want and three months go by for you to wait for the bike and when you finally pick it up you go to the shop again and have a photo taken with Sir Ave Maldea himself this is him and he's been making steel bikes for who knows how long maybe thousands of bikes at this point and this is just an Instagram page Ave Maldea Owners Club. I think it's a fan page and you can see a lot of the Ave Maldea builds here. This is a CX, but you could, this is, this looks nice. If it can fit 700C by 42 tires, I am sold on a build just like this. Ah, yeah, like nice little commuter. Man, Ave Maldea. I would, it would, I would love to have an Ave Maldea bike. Just look at those bikes. I heard there's a guy here in Cebu who makes bikes as well. If you if you know of the guy, if he's still around, put his name in the comments below. Uh, maybe let me know if he's still making bikes. Maybe I'll just save up and get a custom bike. All right, thank you Edward, Jorge, and DJ for commenting on the thread. The next person we're gonna feature is Maxel Daniel Jr. Villegas Migalios. His dream gravel bike is a retro GT Karakoram and he'll convert it to gravel. As you can see in the photo, so I don't know anything about the GT Karakoram, but it looks like a cantilever brake 90s mountain bike. I can imagine putting drop bars on that. I think it would be fun. It looks like a fun bike. I've tried using a 26 inch mountain bike lately and they do seem like a lot of fun i wouldn't do a long ride on them but this is fun like you see a lot of these builds on youtube right now especially by spin that he's been doing 26 inch mountain bike conversions to gravel and they look really fun that's one of the things i wish i wish i had more experience riding different bikes i don't want to comment on bikes that I haven't ridden on you know but uh, hey we can talk about dream gravel bike builds and Maxel Daniel Jr. Villegas Migalios that's a cool dream gravel bike moving forward the next feature is Chris Kalalang he said probably this bike with newer components it's a crema cycle steel bike seems like crema was already doing the 650b wheel set with mtb tires and a one by mullet drivetrain all the way back in 2016 and here it is that is a beautiful looking bike 
I love the thick tires. And look at that. Chris King components. Hard to imagine that this was in 2016. Envy stem, drop bars, SRAM one by. That's another bike I would like to. I would love to try. Like a honest to goodness gravel bike with huge 27.5 tires. Something like really thick, like let's say like a 2.2 or something. I would love to try that. So this is a. Agave Marginata Crema Cycles 27.5. It's a cross bike, in fact. I had the pleasure of meeting Chris last year, and one of the original gravel bike uh, aficionados, one of the original people on the Facebook group as well. Lastly, shout out to Carlos Miguel Rivera Kanga. Kanga? I don't know how to say your last name, man. He said, Probably a Moots custom TI build, Chris King hubs and headset, Paul components were applicable, white industry cranks, Envy gravel carbon rims. So I did some digging into the Moots website and saw something very close to what he is basically talking about. And I must say, if money were not an object and if I were to spend money an obscene amount of money on a on a on a gravel bike i think i would buy a titanium gravel bike as well i don't know i don't know what the what the i don't i'm not very familiar with the different titanium brands moots is all is, is always mentioned but i'm not looking at the different brands right now because you know i don't like window shopping knowing that I'm not going to get the bike so kind of hurts my heart but look at this Moots titanium gravel bike NV wheels looks wonderful I would buy a titanium bike more than a carbon bike I think I don't know I mean I haven't tried either bike like I said this is all like we're all dreaming here but right now I think I would buy a titanium bike just knowing how much damage how much wear and tear my bike goes through i don't know if i could do that to a carbon bike but yeah this looks really nice it's uh i don't know how to pronounce this root 45 50 mm tire clearance it's a 3d printed flat mount brake mount it has a lifetime durability that's, you can only say that with like titanium bikes. Yeah, you can say that with steel bikes as well though. But there's something about titanium. Something about the simplicity and beauty of a titanium bike. Alright, thank you everybody for commenting. Thank you everybody for showing me your dream gravel bike. For me, honestly, I already think I'm using my dream gravel bike. I'm using a Midnight Special maybe upgrade some of the components moving forward but right now i'm totally happy with it i was eyeing that bike pretty much as soon as i realized what kind of bike i enjoyed and wanted and i couldn't help myself i stretched a little bit got that bike and it's the best bike i own and i am super happy with it if i were to get another gravel bike I would look at an Ave Maldea or something from All City. The All City paint jobs are super nice. If money weren't a thing, definitely give Carbon a try and or Titanium. I haven't decided but I think Titanium is the way to go. But if I were to do a Carbon frame, something like the Open would be, would be cool. Alright. Okay, that's it. No boring day. Subscribe. Mm -hmm.